hello all welcome back so continuation to our series manage vm restart in a google cloud so we have covered first scenarios in our last videos so these are the scenarios we have discussed in our first video what are the different scenarios needed for vm restart and we covered a first scenario where we can restart a vms in a single region using the vm instance schedule but it has some limitation that we saw in last video that limitation is just available in a particular region itself and it has 15 minute of the propagation time not a propagation time it is just a delay in operation either it's a stop operation or a start operation so while scheduling we have to schedule 15 minutes before time so we'll see another scenario where we need a critical time restart so if you want to restart at 12 pm then we cannot afford it if we are restarting a 10 minutes late or 15 minutes late so in that case which solution we can use so for that we'll use a cloud scheduler with a post api and i'll go to my cloud console and we'll show you how we can schedule a restart of a vm or a number of vm using a cloud scheduler and post api so now i'll go to a cloud console okay so i have one virtual machine called instance one in us central a so i'll use the same virtual machine for this demo as well now i'll go to a cloud scheduler so i'll go in a new tab here i'll just type a cloud scheduler okay here i need to create one job I'll create on a job name I'll just give a stop job so we have to create a separate stop and separate start job in a cloud scheduler region I have selected as US central one now frequency here we can use a cron scheduler so suppose I have to schedule a restart now let let me see what is the time now okay 10 14 and i want to schedule restart exactly at a 10 20 so what is the cron expression so let me see 20 it's like 22 20 cron time So we have multiple website where we can get a cron expression. So we'll see how we'll get a cron expression for our requirement. I'll show you how to create cron expression also. So I'll go on this first cron tab guru. Now here you could see four five. What is the expression giver? So same way I want 22, 20. So I'll use 20 and here. 22 so it will just use this timing 22 20 that is 10 20 pm so i'll just copy this expression and i'll paste here okay and here you could see at 22 20 it will trigger a stop operation now time zone again i'll select uh, india Now this is a schedule part now we'll go to configuration part target type we have to choose a http post method so here method will be post and now the best part what is url so we have to give a api reference so i'll go to this documentation and i'll pick this api http request so i'll show you what we need to change here So here in resource ID, we have to type our instance name. So my instance name is instance hyphen one and in zone, I will type our zone. So it is US central one hyphen A project. I will type my project ID. Okay, so that's the thing we have to replace from this api call now i'll just validate us central one a and project id gcp hyphen p hyphen d so this is correct now i'll move ahead now here 
auth header we need to select auth token and we need to create one service account so we can use existing service account but as i want to show you from beginning i will create a new service account so i'll go here and in iam i'll go to service account i'll create service account here name i'll just give a scheduler create continue role now as i see we need a instance that start a role oh sorry permission and that all permission required for starting and stopping instance are available in compute instance admin v1 so i'll add this error before add this role before error itself so this is sufficient and i'll create service account okay something is missing fail to add a project role okay it was just a random error and now it corrected so let me pick up this service account so we'll use this service account in our a scheduler configuration so here we have to choose OAuth token and i will choose here so a scheduler is not showing let me refresh yeah now scheduler is here I'll continue I'm not feeling anything retry or anything and I'll just create it okay now let me refresh and you could see the next run is 22 to 0 let me show you the current time 10 19 so after one minute immediately our vm should restart so let me go to a vm page not a restart so currently we created only stop job so it will stop our vm so we'll wait for one minute so currently it's still, i am showing browser time just because you will understand the exact time else you will think like i am adjusting setting in my laptop and then showing it to you so the browser time will show it's same for all and it is accurate so let me refresh we'll wait for a few more seconds let me refresh okay it is 10 20 let me refresh it okay now you could see our vm is being stopped and if i go to scheduler job currently it is showing yeah now you could see it's changed to success and last run just happened 22 20 and now it will show next run will happen on 2nd jan it means tomorrow at this time so you could see it happening on exact time as we scheduled so here we are covering the limitation we have an install schedule where it can delay by few minutes but when we need a critical time start stop or start via then we can use this cloud scheduler now suppose i want to again stop it or start it so let me go to this job i lead it the same job instead of 20 now i'll just add it with one more minute or just keep it 23 and in configuration instead of stop I'll just write a start here at the end so here I'll write start rest everything I'll keep as it is continue update and let me refresh so the new time is 23 minutes after 22 it's like 10 23 just see the current time okay so we have two more minutes i'll pause this video for a few minutes okay now in few seconds our time will be 10 23 and let me show you the vm here so currently it's not yet starting let me refresh you could see it started on exact timing so wherever we have this critical time restart required 
we can create a multiple cloud scheduler job so here you can simply create one job for one virtual machine because we are using the host api call so if you have any question while configuring this cloud scheduler just let me know in a comment section and i'll try to help you out with the solution so we'll see a next scenario in our next video so thank you for watching this video